Let's sorry. Let's even talk a little more about since we touched on security now. Um, something that's come up a, a few times, not a very popular opinion yeah. by many, has been the talk of you know making the NYC now more militarized. You know, you have a lot of countries. I think mostly in the Middle East, where after your university education, you spend a year in the military of service to the country. People have talked about that, and actually with all of the insurgency going on in the country now. Has it ever happened? Has it, that talk about come up with your Indian Yeah, pe there? people have talked about militarizing the NYC. But I say no. Because you will be talking about a country that, before you talk about that, people compare us with Israel. Not the same. Here is a country that we are contending with high level of arm robbery and what are the crime rates. And you have a lot of small arms all around. And you are now bringing in core, uh, core members to go and militarize them. I think no. What we are doing is, what the NYC is doing is that we are looking at social service. We are more concerned about those villages where you do not have medical doctors, where you do not have teachers, where you don't have roads. These are the things we are concerned now. Our nation has not developed to that level where you can be talking about people being uh, given military training, everybody being given military training. Let's get the social basic needs before we now go to that sophisticated level for now. That's, 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 that's a good one. Another thing I want to find out is with the NYSE as an organization as yeah. a whole now, what is the staff strength of young people in this organization? I mean, it's, a, it's an organization that runs the youth in the country. It's probably the biggest organization for yeah. young people in Nigeria. What is the level of participation of young people in the More than 70% of our staff, in fact, about 80 Apart from people like me who are on our way out, <laughs> who are on our way out, more than 80% of them are youth. In fact, what we do is that while they are serving, you know, we have liaison officers who are managing them, we are their leaders. While they are serving, we identify the good ones. And at the end of the service, when we are doing recruitment, those are the ones we take on. So the core members, when the core members are standing with their inspectors, at times you wouldn't know who is the inspector to tell you that they, they, their age uh, difference is not much. So majority of the people serving, uh, working in NYC are youth. Do you really think the benefits of the NYC really outweigh the negatives? That a lot of people, like I said initially, have talked about it maybe being more voluntary at this point, yeah. really considering you know, the population explosion. A lot of people, a lot of campsites cannot uh, accommodate a lot of these people anymore. Mm -hmm. There are people who don't want to do it. A lot of people always find ways to walk around it in the past. I don't know if it still happens. No. Well, are there any plans? Or what is your opinion, at least, on that? My opinion is that it should still remain composed. Let me tell you. We are talking about a population of 170,000. Million. Uh, 170,000 okay. million. <laughs> eh? 170,000 million people <laughs> in this country. Now, what is the literacy rate mm -hmm. of Nigerians? These are the things you have to weigh. And we are talking about co core population of about 250,000. Is even not enough to take care of the needs of Nigeria. As, as of today, we should not be talking about Nigeria having high literacy level. We should not be talking about Nigeria having health ch challenges. As we talk now, there are some schools, the people who are there, who are the principals, vice principals, teachers, they are core members. Not people who are in the Victoria Island, Ikeja, Abuja, Gareki. No, I'm talking about the villages. You go there. There are medical centers. The only person that is there is a core doctor. So we are talking about we don't even have enough of this manpower to match the needs of this nation. So for now, no. I will say let us continue with what we have. Rather, I will, uh, what you'll be talking about is that let all those who have responsibility towards NYC, the states, the local government, let them sit up. It is not only for now. The so who's going to put that pressure on this people to sit that, up? That's states, for example. Who's going to put that pressure? Good. As we are writing, as we are writing, we are making effort. Besides, this is also a platform. Many states don't even know that it's part of their responsibility. I know when I was in state in, 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 in Lagos here as a state coordinator, he took my interaction with the state governor. And then he seen the act before he started. Ivadi was the one that renovated that camp and then put facilities there, you know? So 
Oh, we keep on doing the advocacy, advocacy work. And uh, uh, for, a, for a like this, uh, things that uh, we have to use to reach out to people. Many people don't know that even the local government, the local government, they have responsibility towards the core members. Their accommodation, their transport, their community development service, responsibility of local governments. The states, the same thing. So, but everybody look at it as it is the federal government. No, this is a national. That's why it's the word national service. It is not federal government alone. But federal government is taking the bulk of it, and everybody is just looking at it. Federal government. No, it's every tier of government. And let me use this opportunity to also let. Unfortunately, too, some states are not making good use of the core members. You have the, these core members who are very vibrant who are determined to work. You have the engineers among them and everything. Rather than giving these, these chaps little covert construction and everything, you are giving it on contract. It doesn't make sense. So give it to these, and even they will be fulfilled. They will remember that they were part of the development of a community somewhere anytime they grow up. So I, I, I think that for now, what we should be talking about is using these core members very well to achieve national development. What's the biggest complaint you get from core members year in, year, in, year out? What's the, what are some of the three biggest complaints you get? The first one. The first one is the way the employers treat them. They don't give them challenging jobs. They don't give them challenging jobs. So it will be wrong for a core member to be posted to you and you make the person a T-boy or a T-girl. Give the, that's a graduate. Give the person challenging job that at the time he's coming out, he's fulfilled that he, he, he did some job. Okay, secondly? Yes. The second one that I think that the core members are there is now the insecurity that is in the North. That's the greatest problem. A good number of them want to serve in the North. But because of these challenges, they cannot do that. And third? The third one, of course, is what you were talking about. The allowance being paid by state governments. Not even by the, the state government. Some state governments are owing even our past three uh, core members who have passed out. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Yes. Well, thank you very much, sir. It's been very eye-opening, and uh, hopefully we have learned a bit. And uh, we do wish the NYC all the luck and all the good things that should come. I mean, it's, it's a great idea, yeah, and it, uh, hopefully it continues to grow from strength to strength. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We'll all take right. another quick break now and be right back with more. Please stay with us. All right.